pocketnow.com, and this is a look at the new Sense interface for the Android-based HTC Desire. We've already seen this new Sense interface on the HTC Legend, but the Desire makes the experience much better because it has a faster processor, more RAM, and a much higher resolution screen, 800 down and 480 across compared to the Legend, which is 480 down and 320 across. So let's zoom in on the screen a little bit. And we're going to talk about these various widgets and various home screens, and you get to see how they actually perform. We're also going to look at that new leap feature, which lets you go from the first home screen all the way to the last within a quick second. Okay, so right now we have a widget configuration that is called Travel. It's from HTC. You can flick to the right and to the left to see the various widgets. But I'm going to go back to the center here and show you a really cool wid widget configuration that I came up with. So I'm going to go into Menu, click on Scenes, and go to Best Layout Ever and uh, it's going to load up. Okay, and a new background should apply. And take a look at this background. This is one of the live wallpapers that you get in, in uh, Android 2.1, but it's exclusive to HTC devices. It's actually called uh, HTC Sense. Let me show you what it looks like if I go to wallpaper here and live wallpaper. You can see the HTC Sense live wallpaper has been added. Now this does use up a little bit of battery life, but I think it's worth it. It's just beautiful to have the colors sort of moving in the background. And as you slide to the left and slide to the right, the colors will change, just as if you were to have a static background. So let's talk about some of these widgets that I've put on the scene that I call uh, best layout ever. So here I have the clock, and of course I can tap on the clock, and I'll get this beautiful HTC Sense-like interface, and I can set the alarm and everything like that. Let's go back. I can tap on the weather there to get uh, the weather in my area. Let's go back home. And if I turn off the device, turn it back on, you should see a weather animation based on the conditions. There it goes. This comes from the HD2 where you can see clouds or you see raindrops or you see snowflakes depending on what the weather is in your area. So it's great that they brought that back to, um, back to their Android devices. Right here, I've got a little widget for my next calendar appointment. Today is tax day. I hope you filed your taxes if you're in the U.S. Tapping on that will bring me into my calendar, and I can, from here, add a reminder, delete the event, or share, and so on. Down here, I've got some quick links to things that I, things that I do on a regular basis. So I like to check the battery use to see what is using my battery life. Go back home. I like to go to pocketnow.com. I like to call Elana, and I like to use the XDA developer's application. So just things that are within reach. If I go over to the left, I'm taken to my text messaging widget. And this is really nice looking. So I can flip through with my finger. I can see the text message. I can see the picture of the person if there is one. And I can reply right from the screen or go to my text messaging list or even delete it over there in the corner. Then I can go to this widget, which is for Twitter. And it's going to take a second to load because I just turned on my device after leaving it off for a little bit. And I can flick through and see all of my different tweets. Or I can tap on where it says Twitter. And it should, or actually the arrow, and it will take me into the Twitter Peak application, which is HTC's full-fledged uh, Twitter client. And I can slide to the right to get this really nice HTC Sense interface. I can see my mentions, my direct messages, and so forth, all in beautiful 800 by 480 resolution. Let's go back. And all the way to the left, I have a uh, picture carousel here, and I can flick through and see all the pictures on my device. Now, let's say I want to get back to the center screen. Well, in older HTC Sense, you would have to go to the right like this, and then you would get back to the center. Um, or you could actually press the home button. But let's say I want to jump all the way to the right. New gesture called leap. You pinch, and then you can tap all the way to the right. I can do that again, and I'll go back to where I was before. I find myself using this a lot. It's a very, very fast way to jump around from home screen to home screen. Additionally, another way to use this is by tapping the home screen when home screen button when you're on the home screen and you get the little leap view. Okay, now that we're back in the center, let's go to the right and see the widgets that I have on the right. So over here, I've got mail and I can flick through my mail and see what's going on. To the right, I have really a lot of different things going on here. I've got two stocks that I'm watching up here and right now they're updating and I'll wait a second until they update. There they go. So I can tap on one of them and I get into the stock screen. And the stock screen is made by HTC, so it has that fantastic uh, Sense interface built right in. Also, I have quick switches for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and I can go into airplane mode. And then I have some links to some things that I go to on a regular basis. So Facebook and Opera Mini, the internet browser, camera, a cool game called Raging Thunder, and of course Google Maps over there. Swiping to the right, I get favorite people, so I can quickly dial 
And so what I typically do is say I'm on the home screen and I want to quickly dial someone, I pinch, tap, and tap again, and then I dial the person. And over to the right, well, it looks like we're actually all the way over to the right. So that is how I have my widget set up. And let's go to one of these and delete one of these widgets and see all of the other widgets to see how they look in this beautiful 800 by 480 resolution. So I'm gonna tap and hold, go to widgets, and I'm gonna look for ones that are made by HTC because they're always much better. We have the friend stream, which will pull from a variety of social networks. We have uh, footprints, which you've seen before. The music widget, and you get a, get a few choices for this. You get this full screen look or the small look. Let's go full screen. And I can press play. It plays music. If I tap on the album, I, I'm taken into the extended uh, HTC music application, which is really fantastic. It has album art. You can go over to the, uh, the library view here and get, again, this fantastic sense interface congruent throughout the entire operating system. So I'm going to go back to the music widget and delete it. And let's see what else what we see what else we have here. All of these widgets are the same that you get on the HTC Legend. Um, so you've probably seen these before. If you've seen the Legend video, we can add a stocks widget, Twitter. We can add one just for weather. And we can add one of three different w widget styles, kind of medium-sized, very small, or large. Let's go with the, the medium size and current location so it knows where you are and you can tap it and drag it around. Really a fantastic array of widgets and I love the way that you can pinch to go to any of, their, of the screens. And as you can see from using these widgets, the device is not slowing down. Something that I found on the legend to be the case is that after adding so many widgets, the device would get quite slow, but that is not the case on this device. So I think that the story here is that the widget experience is so good on the HTC Desire that I really don't go into applications anymore, but rarely. Uh, the widgets are so functional, so useful, and so well-performing that I spend all of my time on these home screens, which means that I can zip around extremely fast with a, a huge level of ease. So coming up soon, we're going to talk about the web browsing experience, compare it to the iPhone and to the HTC HD2. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll be back soon with more on the HTC Desire. That's it for now.